The problem that I presented to the children is that there are only over one billion people in the world, or approximately, that don't have clean water to drink, which was pretty surprising to them. But when I showed them the pictures, they were aghast at what they had to drink. Um, so the challenge I said was, well, we need to find a way to get clean water for people who need it. Boys and girls, do you realize that over one billion people on this planet do not have clean water to drink. The only water they have to drink is dirty water like that, and they have to drink it. Before this project, I never knew that there was so much dirty water in Africa and that people died every day from drinking that water. Some of the really good questions that they came up with today were, well, how are we going to get the water to them? How could we clean the water? Uh, can we send water to drink? How do we get there to help them? Really awesome questions. So I gave them a caveat at the beginning that said, if I were a person that was going to give money to this project to help you guys help them, so I would want to make sure that 90% of my money got spent actually on the people who need the help. Are you with me? Yes. I know that given the opportunity to go to Africa or South America or someplace else to make a difference, they're going to jump on that. So I, I suspect that they're going to want to go. Let me go over there and see if I can help, which is awesome. I love, I love their enthusiasm there. I think also some of them will want to feel like, well, maybe it's a way we can send them water. So they'll go off and look at how much water costs and what shipping costs are. Um, the kids that want to go to Africa or go to South America, I'm going to have to ask them, well, how are you going to get there? Well, how much is that going to cost? So they're going to have to go look at airfares. Well, where are you going to stay when you get there? They'll be looking at hotel rates. How are you going to get from one place to another? So they're going, to, they're going to have to plan a whole trip, I suspect, in, in ways that they've never done it before. What are we going to say to you? How much um, it will cost to send water to ice. And I write how. We made our own filters out of bottle. We cut holes in it. We put a tissue, then we put some rocks, then charcoal, then more rocks and tissue. And so. And we would just get the dirty water and we'd pour it in. And we, we thought we were going to um, send it by FedEx, and, um, but we didn't. And we decided to do it with the water project because it was gonna, it's too much money to do, um, send it in FedEx. I think authenticity is probably the number one design quality that I looked at here because it's a real world problem that we want them to solve. As children get older, one of the things that they're asked to do over and over again is community service projects. And when children are going to college, those things are looked at. And so I just want to try to get them in the habit of getting, getting in the mindset of, you know, hey, I can help other people. Primero yo iba a crear un sitio web para ganar dinero para hacer un um, botella de agua que filtra el agua. Pero después cambiamos nuestras ideas y um, vamos a ganar dinero de un sitio web llamado waterproject.org y vamos a, do, um, vamos a dar agua a África y ellos pueden usar este dinero para agua fresca. Probably the second most important design quality is the product focus because the whole thing is about, you know, answering the challenge and making something happen and improving the world, making it a better place. Then the organization knowledge piece, I did that with a pictorial input chart, which is a dual language strategy, wherein you have a picture up on the wall that's just roughed in with pencil. And it could be a picture of anything. It could be a picture of any, any concept that you're trying to explain. And um, then you sit down the children, you sit the children in front of the picture, and you use color in the picture and write the words as you're telling them the story about it. And it's amazing how they just sit there and, and soak it all in. It really gives a visual to those kids that need that right up front. Um, they hear the whole story from beginning to end. And I had a kid yesterday say, wow, this is better than a video. So I, that made me feel really good.
one of the things yeah. that I want them to do and to want them to learn about in this particular project is how to sublimate their own desires for notoriety or do things the way they think they want to do them for the good of the group and for the best and most efficient use of the money. And I think it, it will be a really good learning experience for them. La mejor parte de este proyecto ha sido de ayudar la gente en África. I think the combination of design and challenge-based learning is really, really powerful. The design, because it makes you think of all the aspects that you want to make sure that you include from the affective perspective, and then the challenge, which, which also helps to motivate them. But, you know, when you have a real-world project that you've designed, I just don't think there's anything more powerful that you can do with kids.